So the world of Middle Earth continues to give us a tremendous amount of subject matter to work with. One of the most exciting things that we've already presented to the collector base, but are only now getting to sort of realize in their physical form, is the new statue line that has a little bit of that sense of epic interpretation of the characters, wherein you know the characters look and, and have all the appearances that they did in the film, but are presented in, in poses or gestures or scene situations that aren't exactly screen grabs. It's just a great opportunity for us to go back and sort of you know, reinvest in the classic characters of the Fellowship. So we're really excited about how that's developing. Gandalf, Aragorn, Legolas are already, you know, in the works and set. We're now working on an Arwen and a Gimli. Arwen is a longtime fan favorite that we've actually really been looking forward to going back and sort of re-envisioning and working on a, a, a new way of portraying her in the way that we don't think people have gotten to see her before. Gimli is another character that we've gotten to go back and look at in a really unique way. We're getting to do him in the one moment that this sort of, you know, very stoic, bitter, jaded Gimli comes off as this brooding character throughout the film. And then finally in the, in the Mines of Moria, you see him sort of explode into this sort of dynamic fireball of energy and turns into a killing machine. And so we've taken a very Frazetta-esque pose where Gimli is, you know, captured as this, you know, barbaric hero about to, you know, basically dispatch anything in his way. And, you know, these pieces are coming along you know, really well. We're really starting to kind of get our stride with the, you know, where we want to take the line and, and get, its, get its identity going. Uh, it also led us to some other exciting projects that were back in the premium format area, which we have been developing in all along. So we decided to come back to the premium format to a character that we hadn't done before, which is Gollum. He was a bit of a challenge because he is, you know, almost fully naked. He's just got the tiny little loincloth on. Gollum, we really tried to capture this moment of him obtaining the ring, but we didn't want to make it a screen capture from the end of Return of the King. We wanted it to be something that could have been from the prequel when he first originally gets the ring to something that could be Gates, you know, edge of the cliff, I finally got the ring at the end of Return of the King. We wanted to find that balance so it wasn't just a Xerox screen grab of a still from the movie. We basically did two versions, actually. Most of our swap out exclusives are whether it's a hand or a head or a weapon. With Gollum, actually, it's a, his entire upper torso is a swap out. What we did was we, we wanted one of him guarding the ring. We wanted to really show him, like, him portraying that it is his precious. It is something he truly holds in high value, almost more than any loved one he's ever had, where he's really holding on to it, like his life depends on it. And then we kind of took the flip side and we wanted to do a Smeagol. And so we, uh, with Smeagol, we really emphasized his kind of goofy, awestruck expressions that he gets when he turns into Smeagol and when he's not so sinister. And both versions have a very different attitude that creates a really great look. And uh, another piece that we're working on that I, I really enjoy is uh, yeah, the Oracle of Mordor. There's just a lot of characters that you sort of see, they sort of fill out the background, they fill out the, the ranks of Sauron's evil army, and you know, obviously Sauron's lieutenants tend to get more of the screen time and more of the interest. So we took a design for that and applied a little bit of the sort of epic interpretation that we've brought to the maquette line. And so I think people are gonna find this, you know, another interesting multimedia piece, much like the, you know, the Goblin from Moria, the uruk Berserker. So it's sort of playing along in that vein. That range has just got a lot of strength in the design and execution to date and plenty of momentum to keep going.